Hi, Rose Maulers. I'm seeing a lot of questions from people just dipping their toes into rose mauling as to the type of brushes they should be using. Let me just go over quickly the four basic brushes that are used in rose mauling. And a lot of it does boil down to personal preference, but some instructors will specifically call out a specific type of brush. And so I'm going to just cover what those are. First, you have the flat brush, and that's just what just what it is. It's a it's flat on the very end. It has a thin profile. This is great for shaded strokes. You can load it with paint, side load it with another color, and it um, will give you that shaded, gradiated look. That's also accomplished with the filbert, but as you can see, and the filbert is, again is, has the same thin profile. But the difference between the filbert and the flat is that the filbert has a curved curved edge on the brush. It's also referred to as the cat's tongue. The other brush, which I would say is your most utilitarian, and would have been the style brush that the old rose mulling masters use, and that's the round brush. The round brush is just that. It's completely round, comes to a nice tip. However, when you flatten this brush out, it can do everything a filbert can do, as well as a flat. So this is your most utilitarian brush. Um, if I was going to buy one, say I was new and I just wanted to dabble on my own with rose mulling, I would get a set of round brushes. And you're gonna need a couple different sizes. Um, you're gonna have, you know, depending on the specific area you're gonna paint, you're, you'll want the appropriate size for you know, bigger, say bigger scrolls, you want the big one, but for maybe a tiny flower, you need you need a smaller brush. And that goes for any of these. You're gonna need multiple sizes to, to finish uh, your project. The other thing I wanna point out is the length of the brush. These are short. Uh, when you go into the art store, sometimes you'll see some really long handles. Those are really clunky. You're gonna be doing small detailed paintings and those long handles will just get in the way. So these are your what, what you paint your general project with. And what all of these paint brushes need, an accompaniment, is the liner brush. Now the liner brush is what gives Rose Mulling its special unique look, all the detailed lines outlining the the tiny teardrops and the long the long flowing sc um, scrolls and line work so you'll need a liner right here i've got a, sh a long liner but you can also purchase the liners in a short there's also a mid one i don't happen to have one with me right now but these either one of these will work for your line work it seems as though most um most of the teachers and people that have been rose mulling for a long time tend to prefer the longer bristled liner brush and it's called a script liner um, versus the short script liner or the short liner this happens to be Josanya this is King Art um, it really comes down to preference the short ones are probably a little bit easier for beginners to use but you'll see advanced users, advanced painters using the longer brush, specifically because it will hold more, more paint and it will allow you to do those beautiful long scrolls. If you use the short one, sometimes you can tend to run out of paint before you get to the end. So they can both do as fine a line, it's just that this one will hold more paint. Now all of these brushes, I would say run anywhere, depending on what you find on sale from three dollars to five dollars so they're not overly expensive so if you're just dipping your toe into it look for um these are Lowell, Lowell cornell there's some um similar brands like i said josania also carries it and the type that uh, of bristle that rose mullers tend to lean toward today is a synthetic fiber a synthetic bristle called golden taclon and it'll have this kind of gold gold color. Now what you'll notice is that the spring that it has, and obviously I've got I've got oil in my conditioner so it's it's not as springy, but it's the give that the brush gives so that it'll it'll accomplish the strokes that you're looking for. Um, some br bristles are harder, some are softer. So this golden taclon seems to fit best with the rose mulling rose mulling scheme. So I wouldn't 
you know, buy, you know, try to cut corners and buy a dollar brush, pay a couple bucks more and get the brush that's probably going to be called out by your instructor, which again, I said is the Lowell Cornell. Um, that's kind of it on the brushes. And if you have any other questions and where to pick up these brushes, go to the rosemullinclasses.com. On the resources page, there's all kinds of links to the stores and art supply places online and even local that you can purchase this equipment, um, as well as where to get your paints, woodenware, and to find your next rosemalling class. So again, that's rosemullinclasses.com. Good luck.